Hi there, my name is Erin, and today I'm going to be reading Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Daniel Goes to School by Becky Friedman. Hi there, neighbor. It's time for school, said Daniel Tiger. I've got my backpack, I've got my lunchbox, and you've got me, said Dad, opening the front door. Now let's go get you to school. Please take us to school, Trolley, said Daniel as he and Dad hopped aboard. Ding dong, said Trolley. We're going to school today. Won't you ride along with me? Ride along, said Daniel. When they arrived at school, Daniel pulled Dad into the classroom. Come on, Dad, let's go build with blocks. But Dad just stopped. I would love to build blocks with you, said Dad, but I have to go to work. Are you sure, Daniel asked, maybe work is closed today. Dad Tiger shook his head. I don't think so, Daniel, he said. It's time for me to go. Daniel was sad. I don't want you to go. I want you to stay and be with me. I want to stay too, Daniel, said Dad, but all your friends are here and Teacher Harriet will take good care of you. At the end of the day, I will come back and pick you up because Grown-ups come back. Grown-ups come back, repeated Daniel. He gave Dad a hug and said goodbye. Agamaga, agamaga, said Dad. Teacher Harriet gently led Daniel to the art table. Let's see what your friends are doing. Prince Wednesday was drawing a picture of his dad, King Friday. My dad's at work being the boss of a castle stuff, he said. My mom is at work too. I miss her, said Miss Elena. But look, I have a picture on my necklace to remind me that she'll come back to get me. Daniel picked up a crown. I want to have a picture of my dad too. I'm going to dress on a rocket ship blasting off to the moon. Daniel imagined that he and his dad really were blasting off to the moon. Whoosh! Come to the rug for a circle time, called Teacher Harriet, and everyone skipped over to the rug except Miss Elena. Where's Miss Elena? Suddenly, Daniel Tiger heard, oh no, oh no, oh no! It was Miss Elena. I can't find the picture of my mommy, Miss Elena sniffed. If I don't have my picture, how do I know my mommy will come back and get me? Daniel put his arm around Miss Elena. Your mommy will come back and get you, he said. My dad always says, Grown-ups come back. Thanks, Daniel, said Miss Elena. I feel a little bit better. We can help you find your necklace, suggested Prince Wednesday. The whole class began to look. They looked high, they looked low, they even looked backwards. Well, Miss Elena did, until... I found it, hooted O the Owl, picking the necklace up off the ground. Thank you, O, said Miss Elena happily. Owls are excellent lookers, said O the Owl. Owls are excellent friends too, said Teacher Harriet. Teacher Harriet looked at the clock. We spent circle time looking at for Miss Elena's necklace, she said. It's lunchtime now. Miss Elena, would you like to help be my lunch helper today? Okay, replied Miss Elena. At the table, Miss Elena passed out lunch boxes to her friends. As everyone munched on their food, there was a knock at the door. Who could it be? It was the grown-ups. All the grown-ups came back, said Miss Elena. She was so happy. Daniel ran over to his dad. You came back. I did, replied dad. Can we go build blocks now, asked Daniel. I've been waiting all day, dad answered, smiling. Thanks for coming to school with me, neighbor, said Daniel. I liked helping Miss Elena find her necklace. We can play a finding game too. Look through the pictures in this book and see if you can find what I'm searching for. I'm looking for something that starts with the letter B on page 8. Now find something that starts with the letter F on page 18. And finally, let's find something that starts with the letter C on page 22. That's great. Ugga mugga. I hope you can find this book and try and find those things on those pages too.